Welcome back. Uh, the battery died and uh, it basically ended where the loop was finished so it was perfect timing. So I recharged the phone and I've tested some games uh, and benchmarking and the temps looks great. Um, so as you can see it's a parallel configuration now with the graphics card and the CPU. So, if you didn't see, this is how the loop works. Reservoir down to the pump as before. I haven't changed that. From the pump up to the radiator, out from the radiator, curving down under the graphics card, in to the graphics card, through it, and up to the CPU. Uh, through both the CPU and the GPU block at the same time and out from it back to the reservoir that's the parallel configuration I will end this video with some photos how it looks uh, with the, some glowing effects but it looks cleaner I think uh, this way and as the temp shows it doesn't matter how I set it up this is basically how the temp looks on idle, 31 on the CPU, 35 on the uh, GPU. The reason it's higher is because of the voltage. I run uh, the graphics card really overclocked. And, but while gaming it doesn't matter. Uh, it runs perfectly. I've managed the CPU and the graphics card and the temp. It works. I'm really impressed. So yeah, I will end this with some photos of the PC, and yeah, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.